Um, why don't you guys play something for me, if, if you'd like? Yeah, and I'll just sit down and huh? listen to you and we'll get from there. Adam's playing saxophone, and, and his father, John, actually went to Berkeley. Yeah, so. I got to get it out. <laughs> All right. I went and did something else, too. <laughs> This is, my, this is my son, Adam Schmay. He uh, started at age 10, and uh, he's now 15. Don't be fooled. He's 6'2". He's, <laughs> he's he can go drinking in bars with me, too. No, but but uh, I, I brought him here uh, to Massachusetts. We're from Seattle, but uh, I went to Berkeley and the Conservatory, and I'm on the three tenors tour, which I now have to add a fourth, fourth horn. We're visiting all the friends we played with back in music school. So this is... The universe dictated that we got to play with grace, so we're going to play Tenor Madness by Sonny Rollins. someone like Adam to be able to play with his dad probably on a regular basis and again this is talking about like hearing I mean there was a, a moment where they were trading back and forth and taking kind of this the same line but it's so important especially for horn players or singers to get to play with the chords behind them even if that's playing with your Jamie Abersall or your iBook whatever it is but um, 
That's a huge thing for developing our ears. How long have you been playing? Four years. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> so Adam's been playing for four years, and you can already hear, like, he's got altissimo stuff happening, which is basically, for those of you who don't know, altissimo, altissimo is playing notes higher than the horn, the fingerings of the horn, so it's like special fingerings. And he's got really interesting vibrato stuff happening, and he's got very interesting sounds, textures, which I love. Very, very cool. Who are some of your big influences? <clears throat> yeah, Dexter Gordon, I could definitely hear that. Um, I wanted to take that same song and take it slow. Yeah. Let's take We're it slow. We're a little nervous playing it. I was about to say, <laughs> no, there's no need to be, I was, the only thing that kind of struck me is there, there's a little bit of a frantic feeling, so I was having a hard time. I really want to slow it down, and um, within your solo, focus on a really important thing for horn players is Sometimes we think because we're just playing notes and we're soloing with that, we don't really have to worry about the time because we're not a drummer. And John is laying down a bass line, a walking bass line, so he is taking care of the time. But I had a teacher, Steve Wilson, great saxophonist, who said, horn players are so, a um, big part of, of playing is being aware of the time. He actually kept a hi-hat when he practiced and he'd do two and four and he'd play with it. So as a horn player, if you have good time and if you're aware of that, it's gonna make the music swing even harder. So in your solo, Adam, I would think about just getting, um, really focusing in on your eighth notes and swinging yeah. them and kind of finding a groove. So let's try that. Let's try slowing it down and try focusing on that. I'll just go with the solo? Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs>
because I'm, I'm attracted to, to saxophone and players, and so they have this human voice quality. That's why I love the saxophone. And definitely when he's playing, he's just got so much personality. And, and uh, I also like the fact that when you do things like you, you bend off, but it's not a habit. I know that you use it at specific spots because sometimes it's easy to get into habits where you know you're playing the note and you're always bending like it's easy to get into that habit but the best thing to do is is be aware that you can do that but you can also play the note straight and then you can pull these tricks out of your bag so I know that when he does things like he's hearing it in his head just like when we're talking you know you get higher pitches when you're excited, you're stop talking fast, and there's moments where you use the lower pitches, and you know, we pull these out so we don't always sound completely monotone and <laughs> something like that. So I really appreciate the fact that he sounds like this human voice, and he's got, that was a great tempo because they were really, I felt the swing a lot more, and, and the way you were playing it, like uh, I was working with this great bass player, John Law, uh, uh, um, John Clayton, who's also a teacher of mine, he said, make me dance, you know. <laughs> so, so when he played things like, let's try something. Let's just play a few choruses, the two of us, and let's see if we can make them dance and keep it swinging without you. Because, again, we have this walking bass line thing. It's so easy to rely on having these rhythm section players as our time. The thing we have to do by playing solo is we have to think about time, we have to think about the chord changes, the melodic content, and then we have to think about making up ideas. So there's a lot to juggle. Let's see. One, two, one, two. <laughs> John play a blues, and we're just gonna he let me hear you guys play so I know where you're at and can give some little tips or something like that. The other thing I wanted to say that I love about Adam is I could tell that he was hearing what he was playing. Very melodic ideas, and he wasn't getting caught up with the notes. Of the, I mean, he also had technique as well, but it wasn't like, I get some people sometimes who would come up and play, can you play that same chord changes? I'll play you two very different ways of playing. <laughs>
coming up with agenda, mm -hmm. saying like, shooting notes out, but not really hearing it. And, and again, it's like all technique. There's people who can do that way better than me. But the second one to me is actually what I was hearing. So I really love the fact that we are so tempted because we have so many notes to play a lot. But he really, I could hear that he was hearing it in his head. So that was a fantastic thing. Cool, come on up. Don't be shy. Don't be nervous. Just be yourself. Let's get names for everybody. I'm Bailey. Bailey. Um, hi, Tasha. Tasha. Nice name. I'm Donna. 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 Great. And Don. Anybody else? This is good, actually. This is a great group. So let's play a blue. Any of you have a, a key that you prefer? So you got all alphas, so that's great. How, would, how about a D for this for us? Does that work? Um, the other um, horn. Sorry. This, Like, we can oh. make it. I, I don't know. What's a scale that you're most, like, a, 